Cool, Bob. Then I think I can take it from here for a brief intro to the award session. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so we are at the Wikimedia Foundation Research Award of the Year session. Uh, we're going to spend the next uh, 15 minutes uh, just celebrating the work of the researchers uh, who have uh, spent sub substantial work uh, during 2021 uh, to research um, and develop uh, tools, data sets uh, for the Wikimedia project. Uh, my name is Leila Zia. For those of you who are joining just now, I'm the head of research at the Wikimedia Foundation. I had the pleasure of working with Benjamin Mako Hill from University of Washington to review the work of 2021 and choose the, um, the winners. Um, Jimmy Wales is also with us, and uh, Jimmy is going to present the award uh, to the recipients. I'll pass it to Mako. Uh, Mako, please take it from here. Okay. You guys can you can hear me, Lila? Yes. Okay. So uh, let's. Uh, all right. So you're driving the slides. So uh, so uh, I am thrilled to be able to introduce the this year's. Uh, this is the second annual sort of Wikimedia Foundation Research Award of the Year, or WMF Ray. Um, the goal of the awards is really to. Um, recognize and celebrate uh, research that has been done recently, which has the potential to have to really sort of like this both great research and which also has the potential to really have uh, impact to change and positively impact Wikimedia projects um, and other Wikimedia research. The committee this year was uh, myself at the University of Washington and Leila Zia, who you guys have heard plenty about, um, but who's the head of uh, research at the Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, the eligibility uh, for receiving the award are uh, sort of several things. First, uh, the research must be uh, about or using data from or sort of uh, on in some sense uh, Wikimedia projects or have the ability to uh, impact those projects indirectly. So if it's not about Wikimedia it directly or uses data from other source, but is sort of framed in a way that has a sort of clear sort of impact on the goals of the Wikimedia movement and the projects, then that's sort of what we're looking for. Um, the papers have to be uh, sort of recent. So for this year, uh, the requirement was that the paper had to be published in the calendar year 2021. There was lots of great stuff that we looked at that was published, that, that, that has been published this year or that will be published in the future. And we look forward to coming back uh, and revisiting those things um, later. Uh, because the committee is the two of us, uh, and English is, I believe, the only language we have in common, uh, the, uh, there needs to be a copy of the manuscript in English, um, although it's, uh, it is often the case that work is published in more than one language or with the translation. Um, and uh, critically, there, sh there can't be a conflict of interest uh, between the award committee, that is to say, myself and Leila and the, um, and the authors of the paper. So uh, there was a lot of really great work that, uh, that, you know, I'm like, wow, this paper is really good. And I was like, actually, that person's on my team. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Or this, this work is really good. Oh, yeah, they're in, so a student in my lab. So for all of the, I, I, I did see a couple, uh, uh, there's a, at least one student in my lab out there. So know that uh, the reason you're not being recognized is I'm sure only this. But in fact, there was tons and tons of really, really great work that we um, uh, had to evaluate. Uh, we, we, uh, we had a spreadsheet with more than 230 papers, um, which we identified in a, um, a series of different ways. Um, we had a public call for nomination and, and a number of people submitted some really excellent work, um, including some self nominations as well, which are welcome and really encouraged. Um, uh, there, uh, we went through the list of all research that was sort of uh, tweeted or retweeted by the Wiki Research account. If you don't follow it, it's a really fantastic way to stay up to date on, uh, you know, new research that's happening in the sort of wiki world and within the Wikimedia sort of uh, research universe. So we looked at every tweet that was there. And then uh, we also, uh, after doing this, did a, um, an extensive, I don't know, a Google Scholar search where, where um, you know, Leila and I were looking, how many pages are we going to go until we, we're going to keep going? Uh, um, so we, 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 went, we went deep uh, to identify things that we may have missed. And we've seen most of them, but we did identify a few other um, great candidates that way as well. This year, we're giving uh, 
uh, we're structuring things a little bit differently. Um, we're giving decided to give two awards. Um, the first is the WMF Ray 2022 award, which is uh, uh, an award that we're using to recognize sort of the, the, the best paper according to our evaluation that sort of uses Wikimedia data to understand and improve uh, Wikimedia projects or the broader web ecosystem and which opens sort of critical questions. You know, all the stuff that I sort of uh, mentioned in terms of the goal. And then we decided this year to actually recognize um, a, a best student paper, which is a paper that does all those things, um, uh, but which also was written by a first author who was a student at the time the paper was published. Uh, so. This way we can sort of uh, highlight some of the really great work um, that students are doing in the space. Um, uh, so uh, that was sort of the goal here. Um, all right, let's go to the next slide. So uh, there is a physical award and a certificate uh, which will be uh, given out this year. So a number of you uh, will know that Wikimedians, people within the sort of like broader and actually on other wikis as well, tend to give these virtual awards called barn stars to each other. And they're, um, uh, barn stars are real things in the world. There are, there are often pieces of metal that are sort of like attached to the sides of barns, but there are these virtual barn stars. These are these sort of pictures of awards that anyone can give to anyone else um, for work that is really special. So if, if you notice someone on Wikipedia, if you're a Wikipedia and you notice someone on Wikipedia who's really just going above and beyond, you can go and uh, give them a virtual barn star, this little award and say, I award you this barn star for doing something really great and important. Um, uh, we will be sending physical barn stars to each of the winning groups, um, which means we'll be in contact if you're one of the winners um, about a physical mailing address. And I should say, because I noticed Kai, who's one of our winners uh, from last year uh, here um, uh, in the room, we actually failed to send physical awards to the winners last year. Um, so uh, one, we apologize. And two, uh, we're including you in the process as well. So we're starting the process um, now. And we've actually made a lot of progress and identified some uh, uh, um, uh, we're ready to get these um, sent um, and we apologize for being late for the people that won uh, last year. So um, uh, before I turn it over to, uh, to Jimmy Wells, we'll be announcing the winners. Um, the process is going to be that uh, Jimmy's going to introduce uh, each of the winners of the awards and tell you a little bit about the um, papers. Everyone will be invited to unmute and clap. And then we um, have uh, um, invited the authors of the papers to say something for a few minutes. And with that, I am going to turn it over to Jimmy. Great, thank you. Uh, great, so the WMF Ray 2022 award goes to a paper that describes a new data set. The data set builds on data from the Wikimedia projects and has the potential to enable and significantly accelerate research and development for adding captions to images across more than 100 Wikipedia languages. Today, more than half of Wikipedia articles are unillustrated and more than half of the images available to us don't have captions. Wikipedia needs more images that have captions in local languages to better support different learning and accessibility needs on the project. Captions are also very important in improving the search experience of users on Wikipedia. Manually adding captions to large number of images, particularly in under-resourced language communities, is an enormous task. In recent years, models have been developed to automatically generate captions for images. However, these models are generally biased towards English and Western content due to a variety of reasons, including biased training sets. The researchers and engineers behind this paper take the Wikipedia data is already publicly shared, process it, and ultimately make it immediately usable by many members of the scientific and developer communities. All signs indicate significant impacts by this paper. Less than a year after publication, uh, the publication already received more than 30 citations. Wikimedia Foundation organized a public image caption matching competition based on the data set, which in turn has resulted in at least four open source solutions for automatically retrieving text closest to an image on Wikipedia. And a new community has come to life with a focus on multimodal and multilingual machine learning research on Wikipedia with the first event of this community wiki ML3 workshop to take place on April 29th as part of the ICLR conference. For all these reasons, we award the WMF Ray 2022 to WIT, WIT, Wikipedia-based image text data set for multimodal, multilingual machine learning. That's a mouthful, uh, machine learning. So now uh, I think Mako is gonna get you to unmute and
So that's great. Uh, okay, so we'll move on then to the student award. Um, <clears throat> Wikidata, the free and open knowledge base, is enormously important to the Wikimedia community as well as the broader ecosystem that Wikimedia operates in and serves. Across the world, people and businesses rely on the statements stored in Wikidata for a range of activities such as making new content available in languages that we don't have content in, building smart assistants, training AI systems, and more. Many of the statements in Wikidata come with references. According to Wikidata's community policies, these references are to meet three criteria, reference, authoritativeness, and ease of access. Wikidata's quality and reliability and its impact depends upon the fact that its references are generally perceived to be high quality in all of these three senses. The WMF Ray 2022 Best Student Paper Award goes to a paper that seeks to understand how high quality the references in Wikidata really are. This research evaluates the state of references in Wikidata. It describes an enormous amount of work that involves a creative set of methods that combine multiple rounds of automatic and manual assessment into a complex and multi-stage research project. It conducts its evaluation using Wikidata community's own guidelines, making its result directly usable by the community. Its analysis is conducted in six different languages. It provides a detailed report card for the Wikimedia community about the state of Wikidata references. It makes the full data and code for the project available so that others can reproduce this analysis as the community improves and matures. And it was conducted by a team led by Gabriel Amaral, a PhD student and research associate at King's College London, whose dissertation is on this topic. For all these reasons, we award the WMA Ray 2022 Best Student Paper Award to assessing the quality of sources in Wikidata across languages, a hybrid approach. There we go. All right. And if I, if I could just add uh, just one more little thought, sort of a personal thought about these. For me, one of the, the most important things, one of the most fundamental and important things about the world of Wikipedia and Wikimedia is the global scope of everything that we do. And by global, that means not just languages, but also accessibility in all of its forms. And so I think both of these papers really are incredibly helpful for that. Uh, I love the concept of giving uh, sort of machine assisted uh, tools to the communities to help them do their work in a more efficient way. You know, let computers do what computers do best and let the humans do the creative and fun clever stuff. So thank you very much. This is fantastic. Wonderful. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. So I think that uh, I think that we're going to try to do one thing we wanted to try to do was do a, a group photo with the uh, um, with the winners. So maybe let's do the um, the first piece, the wit team. Um, so I think that the process, what's the best process here? We want people that are uh, the, the winners to maybe turn their video on and the people that yes. are not the winners to turn their video off. Is that how this is gonna work? That is correct. Okay. All right, so if you did not win the award, uh, better luck next year, but, uh, um, and if you uh, turn, turn your video off, and if you did win the award, if you're from the, um, from the WIT team, first, um, maybe turn your video on. Is this 